Hi guys, Magic here from Magic Apps UK. Um, so this is the same um, iPhone 4 that I jailbroke in the other videos um, on my channel. Um, I'm just going to run through a few of the bits that I've done since I've jailbroken it. All I've done really is install um, some great tweaks for the jailbreak through Cydia, um, Instalus, and I've installed obviously Winter Border so you can get these great desktops animated. You can change all your sliders. Um, obviously got the themes running on there now. I've not loaded any apps yet from the app store. All I've done so far is just download all the Cydia gadgets that I wanted on here at the moment. Um, as you can see I've changed the springboard layer. I've installed a scrolling dock bar at the bottom. So I can also install multi-icon mover. So I can select as many icons as I want. Um, move them between page to page like so. Um, or select them again, move them back to the next page where I want to. Um, also, screen preview I downloaded here, so you can jump from page to page on your Springboard. Um, you can also open apps from the, from that page jump. Um, Insidia. Uh, first thing that I done when I jailbroke it was Insidia. I went through and added all of my sources that I wanted to add. Um, I got a list of Cydia sources which I'll include in the write up for this video. Um, and I basically went into manage, went into sources, um, and I edit and then added all the sources that I wanted to add for Cydia, the Nerve repository, as you can see if I go close up you'll see the websites you need to enter, the Nerve repository, iPhone Techie, Hackulo US, the Repo 666, iClarified, those were ones that I added individually um, and then there was the Big Boss app as you can see these sources here are all great sources to add um, what I'm going to do once just scrolling through these quickly is show you how to download all of the sources that are below that line there which are the installed by a package um, so these ones here you can install those through Cydia what you'd need to do when Cydia first opens um, is you would go into sections at the bottom there um, scroll down to repositories which is here and in repositories as you can see at the top there's all sources that's not there when you first load Cydia what you need to do um, is scroll down the source lists and you need to install a source which is called um, you need to install the, the uh, blimey begins with a P, the PWN Center source if you install that source there just click on it follow the install which will be in the top right of your iPhone install that source let it reload and then I always install the iSpazo source as well which is that one there Install both of those and then let Cydia reload and go back into repositories once it's reloaded then all sources will be at the top and if you then install that you'll get all of the main Cydia sources installed in your Cydia package. So um, in the next clip I'm just going to run through a few of the apps I've installed through Cydia, um, some of the packages. I will show you some of those. Um, basically, I've installed some great, you know, the basic ones that you really need to start with so you can control your springboard um, on your iPhone. You can change all your background, your ringtones. Um, so basically, I've installed, first of all, to get free apps would have been Instalus. Um, and basically, all you need to do is go to search and search for these and then install them. Um, I've installed one called Iconoclasm, which makes you helps you control all the springboard icons and the layout of the springboard. So you can have five by five, six by six, um, seven by seven. You know you can install as many icons as you want on your springboard desktop. Um, along with Iconoclasm, I've installed Shrink, which shrink then lets you shrink the size of the icons so they fit on the screen to um, a nice good standard. 
Um, I've installed multi-flow and multi-flow is basically lets the multitasking um, go into split screen mode when you double tap your home button down here on the iPhone um, multi flows you can see there so you can close apps a lot easier rather than having them scroll at the bottom of the screen if I double click on this one now you can see it shrunk down with the X in the corner so you can close it down now if I have two or three apps open you'll have them on the same screen you can move them around or shut them down multi flow is a brilliant little tool to have so you can shut down apps otherwise to shut them down without having a jailbroken iPhone you have to double tap to get the multitask scroll down the bottom hold down an icon and then shut them down by a little red button on the corner um, I've also installed my Wii 4 so I can turn this into a modem uh, and I can run my iPad off of the iPhone um, through my Wii 4 um, page preview that's the the um, Springboard page preview that I showed you just a minute ago where you can jump from page to page and open apps. PKG Backup, which is a backup for Cydia uh, and all the applications that you install through Cydia, your settings, so you can back up and restore at any time. Um, not your iTunes or, or your normal App Store apps, this will back up your Cydia stuff. Um, I've also, oh dear, I mean, I've installed quite a few. Shrink, as you can see there, which I explained to you earlier, it's your shrink. The multi flow dock is the other one that you want to install, that's the dock bar. Um, I've installed Winter Border, which you can see all these transformers and things are all different themes for your phone, um, which you can install through installing Winter Board and Winter Border. Then you can change the themes, the wallpapers, the sliders, the settings, the noises, everything on your springboard that Apple don't let you change, you can now do that through Cydia. Um, so really, that's a basic run through. I've also installed, um, it's the lock screen info, where you can have all your text messages, your emails and everything on your lock screen. And that's called lock uh, IntelliScreen, as you see there. So that lets you have news items, emails, um, your text messages, uh, weather, and everything when you use your lock screen. Um, let me just see what else. Infinity Dock, um, which is the scrolling dock bar, lets you put as many icons as you like down into your dock. All you do is just hold an icon on the desktop and drop it down. Um, a font swap lets you change the swan the fops in sorry change the fonts in your text messages um, to whatever sort of font you want you can download hundreds of different fonts um, Instalus as I told you which is the jailbroken app store so you can get every app that's in the app store but jailbroken and cracked so you can get them free through there um, any ring lets you choose your iPad iPod ringtones um, iPad ringtones for anybody, any contact that you want where you can't normally use those as ringtones without converting them in iTunes first um, so that's any tune um, so that's basically most of the um, the, the Cydia apps I've just run through them quickly there for you um, I will list most of them in the write up and I will list the sources for you in the write up for this video um, any questions just contact me um, and any questions about jailbroken iPhone I'll see if I can do my best to help you um, thank you very much guys so Magic I've out. also included um, as I said the um, installed multi-flow which is here so you can shut down and open icons easier on the iPhone um, I've also downloaded a thing called open SSS um, so you can access your iPhone from your computer um, and access all the root files and control them and install and take away things um, and, and this is a SBS toggle setting so you can quickly control things on top of apps as you can see there turn the Wi-Fi on and off Bluetooth lots of other quick respring power settings that's the SBS settings uh, and open SSS which you need to install um, Instalus running fine and working as you can see there the cracked app store basically Instalus um, so I just wanted to show you those couple of bits as well and on the settings just show you 
few of the jailbroken gadgets and apps that I've installed, Activator, Boot Logo, um, Hide the Clock on the Lock Screen, Side Delete lets you delete Cydia apps and, and jailbroken apps that you install. Um, when you install Instalus, um, you will install App Sync, which will let you in let you sync your iPad and all your jailbroken apps that you download through iTunes. It will let you sync those. That will install with Instalus. Infinidoc, Iconoclasm, which we've already run through, that you control the springboard and the amount of icons and apps. Multiflow is the backgrounder, which you can see there. Um, Oh, let's go back. And as you can see, that's really most of the, with the sources that you need to add, that's really most of the, um, the best, really, of Cydia that you need to install. Um, as I said, my Wi-Fi as well, install that my Wii and also my 3G, because that will boost your 3G signal um, when you haven't got any Wi-Fi and it lets apps run thinking they're on Wi-Fi, that's called My3G. Um, and there you go, guys. The jailbroken iPhone 4 on 4.2.1 untethered. Um, thank you very much.